Welcome back guys to another Dragon Ball Legends episode and today we have a special guest appearance. That's right, Ultra Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Vegeta is officially coming to Dragon Ball Legends tomorrow as the Ultra for the third sorry for the fourth anniversary. And with that being said, we got a lot of events to talk about as well as his intro. One of the best reveals ever in terms of how they represented it. They had drones coming to the floor to create a picture of Ultra Vegito. They had the Dragon Balls um, and Shenron coming through so that they can summon Ultra Vegito Blue, which was legit quite different from any other anniversary. They topped it off with some superb art. They made him look amazing. And on top of all of that, we're also getting a lot of Chrono Crystals coming through tomorrow. So yeah, I hope you guys are prepared for that. So without any further ado, I'm going to show you the actual video now. And you guys can sit back and watch this. And then we'll discuss some of his abilities. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Check this out. Here we go! <laughs> All right! And this, Vegeta! Blue! Let me show you how far mortals can go. All right! Vegeta! Look at that art, guys! This is just some of his abilities. But yeah, we'll just go through the kit um, and then I'll do a breakdown of that as well in this video. But the hype is real. This is definitely what we needed. Anyone that was saying it was Zamasu, well, what are you gonna say now as you're watching this? Look at that. How clean it is. How sleek. And his abilities, guys, are off the charts. Yeah, I just hope this don't get copyrighted, but either way, guys, this is just worth it. I mean, this is his ult, and you'll notice there's a new feature when he does it, so just pay attention, it's actually really dope. So yeah, you can actually now tap the screen, and you can make your blast much stronger. Like, I mean, wow. Just wow. Yeah. So yeah, Ultra Fajita Blue, welcome to Dragon Ball Legends. Okay guys, as for the abilities of uh, Ultra Vegeta Blue, he is red, he is a melee type. He falls under Fusion Warrior and Guard Key as his two main um, ones. Let me just put off the captions here uh, because this guy is going to be all over the place. So yeah, um, he has his ability where he gives 38% attack fusions or attack future based strike like attack and defense. So you can use him on those two for the Z ability. Obviously, his main team would be Fusion Warriors. He does has, have an ultra ability that gives him 30% to damage inflicted as per normal. If he's not uh, on leader slot, he does get another 5% to damage inflicted as well. So that's pretty decent. Then, as for being red, that's a perfect element because he has the advantage over yellow. And with his unique abilities, you'll notice that he does 150% extra damage. Cannot be cancelled. He does 30% extra strike damage. Reduces damage received. And all of this cannot be cancelled, guys. He gets card draw speed twice. He makes his cards cheaper, so he can do more combos longer. He nullifies destroy cards, so basically, if someone wants to destroy his cards, they can't. That, that's insane. He gets strike cards constantly, which is a melee type unit. 20% to his key recovery as well. Seals enemies rising rush, and reduces enemy sh enemies vanishing gauge to zero. You can do that once, but that activates when he enters the battlefield. That's insane. So if you want to take away your enemy's gauge, vanishing gauge, you can. And then you seal their rising rush, so they can't really do much. So that on its own is quite crazy. And this is just one of a few abilities that he has, guys. Obviously, when he comes out in the game tomorrow, you'll have more that you can look at, more that you can see, and obviously more that you want to summon for. So if this is a time for anyone to summon, this would be the perfect time. You can run him on guard key, you can run him on fusions, as well as future, which is decent. He charges his own unique gauge every time he uses the arts card as well. And once it's full, he gets another card, another strike card, he gets his health back, he gets key, does more damage, gets more key, nullifies, cover change. Very similar to what Beast Gohan does when his gauge fills up. Very, very similar. But his is much more potent. As for the art, compared to the fan art that was done by BLZ on Twitter, shout out to him, this art is over the top. It looks beautiful, guys. I have to give that to them. He reduces Dragon Balls 
He nullifies Buffy Fix for that. He gets Dragon Ball, so he can rush easily. He nullifies element disadvantage for 10 counts, guys. So if he has a disadvantage against blue, he can just nullify that. He gets uh, Endurance. He also takes away Endurance, as per usual. He also gets his Vanishing Gauge back when he uh, uses or when he destroys an enemy. And he gets his health back. So, by all means, he is a monster. He is definitely a monster and he's going to be used in PvP. Uh, Kid Buu is most likely dead. Jiren is most likely de dead. The tag Gamma 1 and 2 will not survive this. Uh, Goku and Frieza might have a chance, but they are going to feel his presence 100%. So yeah, guys, if you are new to the game, this is probably the best time to start a new account. If you are an old player, a veteran like me, then I hope you the best of the best with your summons, and good luck with that, because we all want him. We all want to make sure that we can do his special actions, his special arts, and enjoy the anniversary with Vegito Blue. And with that said, let's just read this last part here. Um, special arts, guys. He has a tap action now where he can increase the damage he does. And yeah, I hope you guys can read this on your own because this would be interesting read. Please do read this on Instagram as I do have a, cha a channel uh, dedicated to information about new characters and new information about what you can do and what you can get. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that. As for events, uh, we're just getting CC. We're getting a new raid as per normal. A few other legends anniversary events that will give you CC and also a new PvP uh, seasonal event which I just need to check if it's here give me one second I think it was here somewhere uh, yeah so it's the raid they also added seed medals to the full power battle um, and then the chance time rewards with these numbers here guys so just go back there uh, the, the chance time was these numbers here so if you check all of them Right about here. This is the numbers that was winning. So if you chose any of these numbers, you will get some stuff tomorrow. So yeah, I don't want to make this video too long, but basically it was just Vegito being revealed with drones, which was really dope. They use the Dragon Balls to they use the drones to create a replica of the Dragon Balls, as you can see here. And then it says Dragon Ball Legends New Fighter. And then basically Goku and Vegeta fusing. And yeah, then they showed us the arts that I showed you earlier. Without that, then they're also telling us about um the in-game music they're going to add tomorrow to the game. And yeah, guys, um, other than that, there's also a new plat equipment coming for Fujito as well, or Tag Fusion Warrior, that you can also put on him. So yeah, that's everything. If there is more to cover, I will cover it in a later video, but do stay tuned to Instagram because that's where most of the information will be. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, if you do like the content, please do subscribe and leave a follow. Thank you so much. Cheers.